Beehive versus Ghost.org, the comparison you weren't asking for, but you're getting anyways. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? My name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So I have a long form Beehive tutorial video on this channel where I walk you step by step on how to create a website and email newsletter website with Beehive, as well as various tutorials using Ghost.org. Both platforms are pretty similar in the sense that they allow you to build a website and they have great email marketing features built in. But how do they stack up to one another? That's what I'm going to compare in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so what's the primary focus of both these platforms? So with Beehive, it's pretty straightforward. Beehive exists to help you create a branded email newsletter websites and a branded email newsletter. That's why Beehive exists. Their focus is not really on blogging or anything else. It's primarily on the newsletter. Whereas with Ghost.org, it's more of a combination of a blogging platform with email marketing and paid subscriptions all built in. The end result with a Ghost.org website is that you're going to have like some type of like independent publishing site like the David report where people would navigate to your website directly to log in to access private content and they're going to be subscribed to your email newsletter via ghost.org and there's going to be like private members only content that type of thing whereas with beehive it's more focused on again like the email newsletter people aren't really going to be going directly to your beehive website per se the goal is more to get them on the email newsletter then be contacting your audience directly via direct response email marketing so overall, like both platforms are pretty similar in the sense that you get a website with Beehive, you get a website with Ghost.org, you get email marketing with Ghost.org, you get email marketing with Beehive. Just the overall intent of both websites is slightly different. The content creation process with both platforms is something that's very different. And I would say Ghost.org is a little bit more robust because it's a proper blogging platform where Beehive is still kind of new. And again, like I keep saying, they're more focused on email marketing. So with Beehive, it's pretty straightforward. You go to your post section, then you can write a post with H1, H2, H3 title tags, text, images, videos, buttons, nothing too fancy. And you have like minimal customization over how the email looks. So you do have customization, but it's pretty basic overall. Whereas with Ghost, it's much more feature rich. So you get the basic stuff like H2, H3 title tags, text paragraphs, images, videos, so forth. But Ghost also includes a lot of additional blocks that you can add in. Blocks like the free preview block. So if you have like a piece of content that's private, you can have like the top parts publicly available and then the bottom part is closed off for paying members only. Another block I really like with Ghost is the email only block. So like when you're writing a blog post, you're gonna send it out to your audience. Any type of content you put into this email only block is only readable in an email client. You also get access to the call to action block, product blocks, and more. Anyways, Ghost is very powerful and feature rich and comes with a lot of useful blogging features to make your content more engaging and high converting. So with the actual content creation process, I do prefer Ghost over Beehive, but they both kind of work functionally the same. You create a blog post. When you're ready to publish it, you can choose what to do with it. Meaning like you can publish it to your website and send it to your email list, only send it to your email list, only publish it on your website or send it out to specific tiers of people who are subscribed. So like with Beehive and at Ghost.org, you can have like paying subscribers only so you can send out private members only content if you want. So in short, both work in pretty much the same way with creating a blog post and sending out to your email list and publishing on your website. Ghost is just a little bit more robust with a wide range of features to increase the engagement and make a high converting blog post for your audience. SEO. So not much to say here. Ghost is better. So Ghost has better SEO than a Beehive website. Personally, I don't really see Beehive websites ranking particularly well. Whereas with a Ghost.org website, you can absolutely rank and get organic search traffic. I absolutely rank with my Ghost.org blog and I get organic search traffic every day that I convert in some meaningful way. Again, like I keep saying, Beehive is focused as an email newsletter solution. So yeah, you can publish content that's publicly available, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to get ranked and indexed by search engines. Whereas with Ghost.org, yeah, your content can rank and you can get organic search traffic. Anyways, both platforms allow you to have basic control over the on-page SEO of your website, like creating title tags, metadata, and so forth. The only thing I don't like about Beehive is that their blog posts have a little slash P slash the URL of the website, whereas your Ghost.org website will be like website.com or example.com, whatever, slash post title, which I kind of prefer a little bit more over slash P slash post title, if that makes any sense. Again, that's a tiny thing. That's not really that big of a deal. But with regards to SEO, if creating blog posts and ranking blog posts is important to you, then you're probably going to prefer ghost.org over a Beehive website. Automations and email marketing. So this one, there's really no comparison. Beehive really crushes ghost.org in this department because with Beehive, you can set up automations. With ghost.org, you can't. 
ghost.org. It's really just direct response email marketing. With Beehive, it's kind of the same thing, but again, like I keep saying, it's a branded email newsletter platform, so it's designed to be like, subscribe to the Saturday Entrepreneur Newsletter, join 7,000 other people. It's that type of website that you're building with Beehive. But with Beehive, you can set up email automation. So if you're trying to sell some type of product or a course, you can create like a year-long automation if you want. It's really powerful on the back end. Whereas with ghost.org, by contrast, it's really just direct response email marketing. So you can do the same thing that you can do with Beehive with ghost.org, like send out a weekly email newsletter. You can totally do that. You just don't have access to any type of automations on the back end. Again, with ghost.org, I guess you have like very, very basic automations. Like when people subscribe, they're automatically directed to a thank you page. Nothing too crazy in advance and they get like a welcome email, but that's as far as it goes with ghost.org. It's really just direct response email marketing. And Beehive, again, same thing. It's like direct response email marketing, but you can set up these really nice, complicated automations to sell products and services to your audience. And with automations, I just want to continue on this point. You can set it up for a wide range of things, not just to sell products and services. So like if you notice people aren't really opening your emails, you can send them through like a recovery email sequence, whatever you want to call it, to get them re-engaged with your newsletter and so to speak. You can also send emails out to people that, hey, do you still want to stay subscribed? And if they don't subscribe, then they get tagged and you can remove them as appropriate from your email list. Whereas with ghost.org, you can kind of do something similar, but you can just filter your email list to see people who have unsubscribed and see what people have like not been opening your emails. Then you can manually remove them. So there's not really that kind of built-in automation. So in short, if automations is very important to you, like you need to create like an email onboarding sequence, a welcome email, sell some type of product and service. Maybe you want to build out a like a year-long email autoresponder, whatever, you're going to love Beehive because ghost.org, again, is just direct response email marketing. Monetization with Beehive versus Ghost.org. So Beehive really stands out in this department as well. With Beehive, you can have paid subscriptions, you can have private members only content, but you also have access to an ad network on the back end of your Beehive site. So when you publish an email and send it out, you can have a display ad within the email. You also have access to boosts, so you can accept boosts from other email newsletters. So you can like, when people subscribe to your Beehive website, you can have a light box appear and be like, hey, you may also like this email newsletter and this one, this one, this one. You get paid if people subscribe to these other email newsletters and can become quite lucrative. And because you have access to automations like I just touched on, you can set up some type of sales process to sell some type of product or service. Ghost.org, by contrast, doesn't have any type of ad network built in. So if you do want to run ads to your email newsletter, you totally can with Ghost.org. You just have to do it manually by going back and forth with advertisers and talking about different like placements, like, hey, to be placed at the top of the email newsletter is this price, to be placed at the bottom is this price, that type of thing. So Beehive does have that advantage where it's just so simple. Like once you have enough email subscribers and you qualify for the ad network within Beehive, it's literally just clicking a button to approve advertisers. And ghost.org is very similar to Beehive in the sense that you get access to paid subscriptions with your website. And it's super simple to set up. All you need is a Stripe account. So at ghost.org, you have three options. You can make your content publicly available, members only, meaning people who are actually subscribed to your email newsletter, and content that's only for paying subscribers. And for paying subscribers, you can set it up to be monthly or yearly. And Beehive is exactly the same with their paid subscription functionality. Now, how does private content actually look on both platforms? I'm gonna give it to ghost.org. I think ghost.org does a little bit better job of displaying private members only content and making it look cool and interesting. Like with ghost.org, when you click into a private members only blog post, you're gonna be able to like read a little bit of it. Then you're gonna have a block where it's content lock telling you to subscribe. Anyways, both platforms are pretty similar with their monetization options in the sense that you can have email marketing and run ads into your email newsletter. Beehive's a little bit more simple and easy. You can do affiliate marketing with both. With Beehive, you have access to automation so you can sell some type of product or service via email autoresponder sequence. Beehive also has the edge in that they have a native ad network built into the platform they can take advantage of. Of course, you can run ads to your own ghost.org website, but it's a, it, again, it's just more manually and a little bit more work going back and forth with advertisers. And finally, Beehive has that really cool boost feature, which I think is quite underrated. People don't understand how cool that is, where, and that when people subscribe, a light box appears and they get prompted to subscribe to other email newsletters, and that you get paid if people subscribe to other email newsletters. A very simple, easy thing to monetize your websites. Customization. So if this is important to you, then you're probably gonna prefer ghost.org over Beehive. I would say Beehive is kind of cookie cutter. Honestly, like Beehive websites all kind of look the same, sort of like a Substack website. Now Beehive is rolling out some type of like website builder that's still in beta. 
so it's not launched yet at the time of recording this video. So that will become a thing where you can like edit and design your website with their website builder. But right now you have very limited access to over how your Beehive website looks. You have very basic customization of like colors, logos, uh, the format of your homepage and subscribe page, really basic stuff. Now again, if that's not that important to you, like you just wanna have an email newsletter website and you wanna get something going, just customize it a little bit, then Beehive is totally fine. But if customization, having a cool, branded, unique looking website is important to you, then you're gonna like ghost.org a lot more. Because ghost.org, just like WordPress, is fully customizable. But I do want to mention that with ghost.org, if you're on their cheapest plan, you are limited as to what themes you can use. But once you upgrade your account, you unlock everything. You can add in your own custom themes and custom design any type of theme as you like. So again, it just comes down to personal choice and what you want, what you expect. If your primary focus is on building an email newsletter, then Beehive is totally fine, even though it's like a cookie cutter looking website. But if having a branded, unique looking website is very important to you, then you're gonna be much happier over at ghost.org. Now, with regards to how the design of the actual emails that your audience is going to be receiving, I'm gonna give the edge to a ghost.org website. I think the emails from Ghost just look great out of the box. Beehive looks okay, but you have a lot more control and flexibility over the look and feel of your emails. In my opinion, it's just a little confusing and overwhelming for a complete beginner. So again, it comes down to personal choice. I think out of the box, Ghost looks great. Out of the box, Beehive looks okay, but you have a lot more control over the look and feel of your emails if you wanna go down that route. Next up is ease of use. So ghost.org by far is way more simple and easy to use than Beehive. That's why I created that Beehive tutorial video because I find Beehive a little bit confusing for a complete beginner. Like you're trying to set up everything and you have to use like this entry feature to set up all the name servers. You have a bunch of different name servers for the website as well as the email marketing aspect of things. You have to set a different domain name or a subdomain name for all the emails that go out that's different from the primary domain name on the website. Just all these little technical details on the back end that could be a little bit confusing for an average user. Whereas ghost.org is pretty simple, you just sign up to ghost.org, you pay for your account, you set a custom domain name by pointing the name servers to whatever domain name register you're using, and then set up a Stripe account to accept payments for any type of paid subscriptions, and that's pretty much it. It's really that simple. So in short, ghost.org is very simple, it's very easy to use, it's very intuitive, particularly if you're coming from WordPress. Beehive is a little bit more confusing with setting up automations and setting up your website, but once you get over that learning curve with Beehive, Beehive is pretty simple to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And finally, to end this comparison video, the price point. So Beehive is great because they have a completely free plan you can take advantage of to grow your email list. Yes, it's going to be a subdomain of Beehive. It's gonna be like mywebsite.beehive.com. And yes, you don't get access to automations, but you can grow your email list. And when you're ready to upgrade your account, you can do so. Now, obviously I recommend upgrading your account because you get access to automations once you do that. And automations are quite powerful for selling products and services and creating like some type of onboarding sequence for people who are newly subscribed to your email newsletter. But it's totally up to you if you want a completely free plan to grow your email list and go with Beehive. Now contrast this with ghost.org. Ghost doesn't have any type of free plan, unfortunately, but what they do have is a $9 a month plan. So with Beehive, when you upgrade your account, it's gonna be like 30 something dollars a month. Whereas with Ghost, it's like $100 or so a year to have a ghost.org account and you get 500 email subscribers with ghost.org. You can email your subscribers as many times as you like. If you wanna email them every day, you can totally do that. Okay, everyone, that's it for this video comparing Beehive to Ghost.org. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching and have a great day.